at your best, not your worst, not your this, not your that. And I'm mm, trying. Hold on, Tay. Now, hold on, now, Pooh. You got to though. If you really love somebody, if you really fuck with that person, if you really like that person, you gotta fuck with them at their best and at their worst. You, you know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. I am back with a reaction video. You already know that I am here to watch the response of Tay to Jazz's video. Her video is called what happened between me and Tay reaction yeah after watching jazz video it's a lot of respect a lot of love a lot of maturity i hope Tay keep that same energy because you know baby girl been wilding out drinking a lot i didn't even know baby girl smoke she's been smoking a lot she's been turning up a lot she's been doing her thing everybody deals with things that they're going through differently so i ain't here to judge i'm just here to listen just like i was able to relate to jazz i know i'm gonna relate to Tay, even though this stuff is just not easy let's just get right into it let's see what Tay has to say please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel like this video comment down below and share my content so let's get into it <laughs> i was about to do my makeup but you don't need any I'm makeup to this video. hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new it's me t to the a to the e for y'all that don't know how to spell i am saying i'm back with another video but this video i'm gonna be reacting to Jazz's video, what happened between me and Tay. And yeah, I told y'all I would not make a video, but I would react to her video if she made a video. So here's the time. The time has come. Here we are. I already got the video pulled up on my laptop. Don't be so I watched aggressive. it already. Like when she first dropped it, I watched it and I texted her and I told her. It's okay. Yeah, just now already and I was so emotional <laughs> watching this so hopefully I don't get emotional watching this this time and I'm just gonna react to the part where she's talking about me and yeah I'm adding my two cents in if I need to I'm a corrector if she's wrong I'm a just you know react to it I guess I'm not really a reacting channel so if I react wrong I'm sorry I'm not gonna put the video on the screen if y'all wanna watch the video go watch it but I'm Y'all just gonna be seeing me react to the video. I'm gonna be pausing it if I need to correct her. Period. Okay, so let's get started. Cut, so, throw, like thuggish ass. So, this is like, you know what I'm saying? Spare with me. That's all I'm saying. Spare with me. So, basically, y'all, the whole 2020, me and Tate, hey, we were basically kind of disconnected. We were disconnected, and that's why I was trying to get us connected. Back connected. That's why I was trying. I was attempting and attempting and attempting to work on stuff. But you know, a relationship takes two instead of one. That's why it's just not working out. Like if I'm just trying to work on a relationship and Can't you're trying to work yourself. on something else, of course it's not gonna work out. Let's be real. Communication was totally like it was out of there, man. Like it was shit. Like it, oh, I shit. feel like my communication was good because. Every time I felt some type of way, every time I felt like our relationship was like on the verge of breaking, I would talk to her, I would come to her, I would do all of that. Like, let's be real. This ass, like, we were not communicating the way that we needed to and the way that we wanted to as a couple. And yes, as a couple. But Tay. I feel like back then I wasn't understanding enough. Because, you know, I'm going to be a bigger person. I'm going to be, you know, a bigger person and admit my wrong. Ownership. You know wrong. But, you know what I'm saying? It took me to, like, December to look back at the entire year and really, like, look at things as a whole and, like, divide it. Like, damn. Damn. Like, maybe she was calling out for help. Maybe I did miss the signs. I wasn't even calling out for help. I was just trying to save our relationship. It's the thing, like, 
I hate when people try to use, because I, I brought it to YouTube that I was depressed at one point, but I wasn't even depressed. Like, of course, I was going through some stuff, and of course, we're in a relationship. I'm thinking I can talk to you. I can count on you to, like, vent to, because that's all I needed was to vent. Once I release what I'm feeling inside that's making me feel any type of way, I'm good. But I didn't have that person to vent to. That's how I feel. I feel like... With Jazz, I was always there, always listening, always encouraging her, always uplifting her, always doing everything like that. But I just, this year, I don't feel like it was reciprocated. Is that the word? Reciprocated. Y'all, I, I don't understand. feel like it was like, you know. But she had told me, you know, um, like, you know, Nothing that she was going to have to help the whole year, and I was missing the signs, and maybe I was, I was. It wasn't really calling out for help. It was just calling out for the Your person girl. I'm in a relationship with. Like, I thought, since we're in a relationship, I can vent to you about my problems just as much as you vent to me. Like, that's just as much. Don't overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Don't overdo it. Sometimes you just gotta go in the closet and talk to yourself and talk to God. I wonder does Tay write or is she artistic? Like, does she like to draw? I've heard a lot of coming from Tay that she don't have nobody to talk to. Like, she don't really have friends like that is what I'm getting out of. And she talk about the friends that she did have. And she even had some videos before of, you know, explaining why her and her friends had failed out. Like, I'm always open ears for you. I just wanted you to be open ears for me. But I guess not. But I'm glad that you're aware. I just wasn't hitting on to him until, like, kind of the end of November, like... Yeah, let me, I, sorry, I keep stopping it. Something's off. I'm just like, bro, something is very much off. I'm like... Yeah, something was off. You felt like that because that was my third time coming to you and telling you, like, I feel like we honestly needed a full week to actually connect again, to get to know each other again, to, like, you know, get back into that relationship mode. But truth be told, y'all, honestly, I feel like... Jazz put me down when she put that camera down, but I, me as a person, I should have realized like, dang, maybe she needs some space from the camera and me, but maybe our communication was off and I didn't really realize that. But now I realize that and I'm respecting her space for real, for real. Everything. Maybe she just wasn't ready for a relationship during that, you know, time. I, I understand. I understand. Like, I really do. I'm very under... I don't think it's about not being ready for a relationship at that time. It's just like, if you really respect how somebody feel and what they say, and you gotta respect it. It ain't gonna be easy. You don't have to always agree to what that person is saying. But if you respect it, then you gotta hold yourself accountable of what you're saying. Without saying, oh, you're just not ready for a relationship at this time, you know? Nobody is ever ready for a, a relationship, for real, for real. Because it takes so much. So much goes into being in a relationship. Everything be good. When the shit go bad, when the shit is ugly, I just feel like how you get through that moment, that's what matters the most. All that lovey-dovey, ha-ha-he shit, that shit cute. But are you gonna love me when the times get hard? Are you gonna stick by me? Are you gonna have patience? Are you really gonna be loyal? Like, that shit is what matters to me. This shit tough understanding all you gotta do is talk to me and let me know it's because if easy. you don't let me know then i'm gonna be in my head trying to put two and three together when it it don't equal it's eight your okay? fault. you can't have assumptions about everything we are our worst critic I feel like your worst enemy is yourself. You be over there assuming the fucking worst. You be over there trying to get stuff and you be completely wrong. Being a lesbian is not easy. People think it's easy on this side. But the, the other side ain't greener neither. The fuck? It equals five, okay? Oh my gosh, somebody's mowing. If y'all hear that, I apologize. We are not here. You know what I'm saying? We are not here. We are not here. Like, we will be good. It will work out for a week. And then. Yeah, it will. Okay, it's a commercial. I'm gonna watch your ad because you know I'm very supportive. That's something. I am. I'm supportive. But um, while this ad is playing, of course, we was not here and we will get here for a week and then we will separate because why? Ask yourself why. Ask yourself why. I tried to write down some stuff to do. I tried to, I guess we outgrew each other as a person and I, me just keep trying and trying 
it wasn't working because, like I said, I guess all I'm pressure ain't good pressure. Like, it happens. It's life. Just communicate. Jazz did say, you know, what I'm saying she has a hard time expressing things. So that's something else you gotta take account of when you're dealing with somebody. Does this person have great communication skills? Is their communication fucked up? But do you have enough patience? Are you really supportive of that person to help them with their communication? No, you can't fix their communication, but you can try to help them to a certain point. And like I say, as humans, as individuals, no matter how long you've been married together, no matter what, it's just gotta be a certain point in time where you have to grow within yourself and you can either do that with somebody without bringing them down without them feeling like you're draining them or they're draining you like jazz said and i don't want to sound like i'm on jazz side i'm just saying I ain't no nobody nobody so i'm just here to relate in any way that i can relate because this is definitely definitely relatable that's all i can say two weeks two weeks and we'll talk it out Everything go back to good. I want to work on this, and I'm going to do this. And I guess to her, she wasn't seeing the progress. She wasn't. Yeah, she said she was going to work on this and work on that. And months have passed. And the stuff that she said she's working on, no changes. If the stuff she said she's going to get better at, no changes. I understand change don't happen over time, and I didn't expect that. She but it's overnight. like, dang, the change just never happened. It's like... The whole year went by and the change just never happened so and I'm not just gonna be miserable you know I've been in that place where it was my lowest and that's just not something I want to go back to so let me tell you something go when you know where you have been and know that you ain't going back that shit is tough not only that when you're in a relationship and someone literally tells you every time that y'all are arguing I've been where you've been and I ain't going back that shit is tough too shit if y'all wanna be honest I called I'm just gonna finish I'm just gonna finish the video then I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna change how she wanted to see it and I don't know like if she wanted to see it immediately or no. she also tell me like y'all I'm not trying to see it immediately like, I'm also not seeing any actions. And so, exactly. Like, it was at a point where she was just all talk and no action. It's mm -hmm. like she was trying to tell me something I wanted to hear. But honestly, in reality, it's just like, I don't want to hear it if you ain't showing it. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I just feel like I had a lot to work on. And then at the end of December, she had like a little breakdown. That's where she had made the post that you guys seen. And I didn't know nothing about the post. I didn't know nothing about the post at all until... Yes, y'all. Um, in December, I was just to my breaking point. I can't even lie to y'all. When I say I've been trying and trying and trying, I was just to my breaking point. Because first of all, I was venting to you, but it was going through one ear out the other. It was just like, okay, now let me just vent how I used to vent back in the day. And now it's just like, I don't know why I went to the internet. I apologize for that, but... It's like, who else Who else am I going to go to? She know my situation. She know what I was going through. It's just like, who else am I going to vent to? But I do apologize for bringing it to the internet because that was just out of my character. That's just not me. I'm like a, a reality type of person. I'm like in the, like a human. I'm a real ass human. Not The internet didn't take over my brain type of person. And I apologize for going to the internet. I just didn't have nobody else to go to. So I just figured out maybe Team Tay... I just had to get that off my chest. You know when you keep something on your chest, it's going to bother you even more. But once I got that off my chest, I was just like, <sighs> okay. And then the next day, I regretted it, of course, because it ended up on all the tea pages. And it was a lesson learned. Everybody goes through lessons. It's like when I make a mistake, I learned that. When I make a mistake, everybody think it's like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, I can't make a mistake. But That's not true. you got to understand, I make mistakes, too. And... You yeah. just gotta not care so much about what people gotta say about you. When I personally had got on um, Instagram, and the great thing about it, like that night when I seen it, man, I mean, it just, the argument just got worse. I just felt like you didn't talk to me before you had made that post. I didn't talk to 
Let's keep watching. But she went and she had been trying to reach out and there we go. been trying exactly. to call out for help. Exactly. And you were just too focused on you. And I understand that. Self-love, best love, period. I understand that. But when you're in a relationship, it's kind of like Don't be selfish. you got to compromise. And that compromising part just wasn't there. I, we just needed to work on that, I guess. Look at I was missing a side, so that was her only way of letting out emotions. And you know what I'm saying? Um, I told her, you know, I understand. I was like, okay, I gotta actually sit down and thought and look. I just want to take a moment to just uh, give credit where credit is due. That little curl sitting on the side of her face that looked like some baby hairs. Take the damn scarf off. I just, I always see Tay with a scarf on. I don't want to see that baby hair. I want to see them edges. I want to see your earlobe. Does it connect to your face or does it not? Okay. Serious mode. Okay, 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 okay. Back away, I was like, okay. Understandable. But, um, I'm so yeah, sorry. from there, we were trying to kind of, like, work on it. It wasn't working. Um, we was it wasn't like, working because your mindset wasn't in that relationship mode, if you want, if you get what I'm saying. Withdrawing ourselves. We were disconnecting even more. And just with everything that was kind of, like, going on, everything that y'all understand, we are real people. We got real feelings, real shit was said like you know what I'm saying real shit was was said okay let's get into that when she said real shit was said yes okay that night when I posted that and then she peeped it everything would left I kid you not everything would left I was just talking out of anger if you get what I'm saying and I guess a lot of people not used to me talking out of anger because the way I carry myself the way I am I'm very like supportive loving spiritual all that but that night i kid you not y'all it's like something took over my mindset it was just full of anger full of rage full of everything and i do apologize for saying some stuff that i didn't mean honestly but it's like let's look back at it what caused that we got to think about like dang what caused me to rage like that what caused this it's like once you keep calling out and calling out and calling out and then everything just keep building up of course it's just going to explode what do you expect and i do apologize i really do i, I apologize for getting out of my head i really do honestly when you are arguing real feelings are put on the floor like real shit that you didn't know a year ago or feelings that you didn't know was there or said so it wasn't real feelings that were said it was out of anger and you know that we discussed it but okay let's carry on some of the things that she had said my heart, my mind, my body, I honestly, I, I just feel like I couldn't, like, I couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't, like. I understand that because I said some hurtful things. I was just like, I told you, like I said, I was acting out of anger and like, I wanted you to hurt. Like, I was hurting. It's like you didn't feel where I was coming from. And so I said some hurtful things and I apologize. It's like, we're human. We all make mistakes. It's like, when I make a mistake, it's just like, <sighs> type shit, but. Let's carry on. I don't know. Something in me was just like, it's time to focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's time to just put yourself 100% first. You've been doing that. What are you talking about? Um, to get back to you, like, you're not even you. Exactly. And I'm glad she said she's not even her. And that's when I had that conversation. I had a talk with her like months prior i was just like i feel like you're not 100 percent yourself if you need to like take some i i told her this i swear to god y'all i told her i was like i like you at your best not your worst not your this not your that and i'm like hold on tay now hold on now pool you got to though if you really love somebody if you really fuck with that person if you really like that person you gotta fuck with them at their best and at their worst. You gotta accept flaws and all. People, they like the thought of you. They like the thought to be with you. But when the shit get ugly, when shit hit the fan, when it's time to really dig within yourself and pull stuff out of yourself that you even think that you can pull out of yourself, when it's time to come out your comfort zone, niggas ain't really down for that. So everybody wanna be in a, in a relationship. 
But you gotta really think about what goes into a relationship. And you really gotta think about who you're trying to be in a relationship with. And you really gotta ask yourself, like, yo, am I gonna be able to accept this person, flaws and all? They ugly, they good, all that shit. When the hair start growing back fully on their coochie and they just don't feel like taking it away. You still gonna get that and eat that Uchi Wala Bang Bang? I would. <laughs> Y'all just trying to have a whole lot of great vibes going on, Big Perry, because she, they got my stomach hot. Encourage her to get to her best. I was trying to motivate her to get back to her best. You can't do everything, like, baby. I like seeing her at her best. Of That's course you do. Y'all, I'm getting emotional. Oh, I hate this emotional stuff. Like, honestly, I told her, like, like, pick up the camera. If you don't want me in it, cool. I told her. It's to not all about the camera. Because I've seen that. Let's care. Y'all, I'll be right back. I need a break. <laughs> Let's just keep watching because I don't want to get emotional in this video because, yeah. It's okay, no. Paul. I don't want to. That's just what my mom was telling me. So I just knew that, like, us trying to work on a relationship right now when we really need to work on ourselves individually, it wasn't going to work. Us staying in the same house while I'm trying to do that, even staying in different rooms and stuff, it wasn't going to work. We needed that separation. We needed that space to... And I understand that, and that's why I called it quits, because Ooh. it's like, if you're not going to call it quits, and you're seeing that we're just going deeper and deeper and deeper in a hole, I'll call it quits, so we won't have to just try to, you know, escape that and get into a dark mode, because like I said, y'all, I've been there, and I didn't want her to go back there. I know she probably been there, too, and that's why I called it quits, so we can have some space apart to better us, but... Like, need that space to grow individually, and um, that's something that I explained to her, and she noticed. And yeah, that's basically when she decided um, towards kind of the middle end of December to get her own place, and that's what we decided that that was the best thing to do because obviously, staying in that house, ignoring each other. Like, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just gotta say, I'm not that person. I cannot be that person to the point where, okay, we broke up. We broke up for good. Like, we're not gonna try. We're not gonna stay together and try. We're not gonna stay together and try to figure it out. I don't know why people think that, that you can break up with somebody and just live life regularly. I don't know why people think you can break up and sleep in the same bed. I don't know why people think you can break up and even be in, in separate rooms. I don't know why people think you can break up and I walk around the house naked, you walk around the house naked and with you all the bang bang ain't getting touched, lick, stared at, complimented. It's no way. With my previous relationship, you know, y'all didn't see everything. So it's we broke up plenty of times. That's why the channel wasn't the name that it was when y'all first found out about us. A lot of times, I wasn't in the video. You don't always want to put your relationship out there. You don't always want to get people involved in your relationship. It's just going to make things worse. It, let's be honest. It's going to make things worse. And like I said, we discussed, like, if I move, we're still going to be, you know, connecting. But... Y'all, this her, this me. We on two different sides of, like, a bubble type shit. Like, we're not here. We're here. Like, let's be real. I'm still processing it because this is kind of like the first time it actually came out of my mouth. This is the first time. Like I told y'all, I didn't talk to my parents. I don't talk, I didn't talk to my whole family about it. Like, I'm just... So yeah, real. because like, let's be real. Be real. Like, be real. You know what? I keep it, I keep everything in as like a person, like I keep everything in you know, like to deal with it by myself, my bad Libra, like yeah, that's what happened with that, like nobody stepped out, nobody did no real crazy, man I don't know what the hell y'all was thinking, stuff happened in relationships and sometimes people grow apart, people disconnect. And, and that's where I feel like you should have communicated with me. Like, when you felt like you were disconnected from me, communicate. Just like I communicated with you. It was just our communication and our... It was different. Communication was way off on 
a half a point. Like, I feel like I was doing so good. I was, I changed that whole year. It was like, I found myself. I'm like, okay, I, if I noticed something wrong, I would try to talk about it. I would try to fix it. I would try to, you know, get better solutions. I was trying to, you know, if I noticed that she was down, I was trying to uplift. But I just feel like it wasn't recipro reciprocated. That's all. That's all. Sometimes she had the best, best relationships, you know what I'm saying? It sounded like to me Tay was growing, doing some self growth. Jazz wasn't there. And that's not wrong. That's not bad. It's just just because somebody else is on a self rise don't mean that the other person is gonna hop on the bandwagon and be on a self rise for themselves. People grow and do things on their own time. So I'ma just say I don't like the fact that Tay is trying to take a lot of credit and credit and stuff but granted y'all don't nobody know what happened behind closed doors what was said none of that kind of stuff you know what i'm saying if tay said she was doing that and doing all the other i mean jazz did say you know what i'm saying that she was she ain't said that she wasn't it's some stuff that jazz saying and tay like hold on no it wasn't but it, at the end of the day it don't matter at the end of the day what really matter is y'all want communicating y'all got on separate pages it's okay i just want them to not get ugly with the shit. Keep it cute, keep it respectful, keep it at a mature level. Please learn from other mistakes because mistakes of others have been made, okay? And just, uh, yeah, I just can't believe it's Tay and Jazz going through this, but it's life, they're human. They are allowed to go through this and they are allowed to speak their own truth, their own truth. It's always three truth, they truth, her truth, and then it's the truth of God, the truth of don't go there. I just feel like we've been together for three years. I've literally been with that girl since I came to Houston. I stuck foot in Houston and I saw her and I, I just could nobody like tell me to not fuck with her. Like could nobody tell me to not like mess with Tate. Like long, I would try to talk about it. I would try to fix it. I would try to, you know, get better solutions. I was trying to, you know, if I noticed that she was down, I was trying to uplift. But I just feel like it wasn't recipro reciprocated. That's all. That's all. Sometimes she had the best, best relationships, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like we've been together for three years. I've literally been with that girl since I came to Houston. I stuck foot in Houston and I saw her and I, I just could nobody like tell me to not fuck with her. Like could nobody tell me to not like mess with Tate. Like, that was right. That was my baby. Like that was not your baby. Couldn't nobody tell me not to mess with her. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, I just feel like she been with me since she was 18. She's been with me 22. I've been with her since I was 20. You know, you know what I'm saying? I just turned 24. Hard to discover new audiences. Okay, y'all. It's another ad. I'm watching her ad. Like I said, I'm very supportive. Um, but yeah, I feel like it was just. She was disconnected from me. And you can't force nobody to be connected to something they're not connected to anymore. Maybe we're better off, like, I don't know. Maybe she'll find herself. Maybe maybe she get what she wanted. I don't know. Maybe she get what she was, like, her goal was. I don't know. Hopefully, I wish her nothing but the best. Oh, it's back on. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn it back on. We just never had that space. We never not been up on each other. Like, I met that girl, like, that girl moved in, like, would be down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, she said we never had that space. I feel like the whole 2020, we had that space apart. Like, not like that, Tay. Hmm. We, like, we started hanging But out. we was like, like this. Like, I was, but you know, 2020, we was like this. And everything moved fast, and we never, ever had that separation. We never had that time to grow in those younger times like that in our life and i told her like right now we just need that time to grow and both hear our mind right i don't want to be the reason why somebody feel a drain i don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling unhappy i'm saying and i don't want to feel any type of way my damn self because i was just in a place where i was just was not right you know what i'm saying exactly and i noticed that that's why i was just trying to get you to communicate with me for real, for real, y'all. Like, let's be real. Right now, I'm feeling way much better than I actually happened at the beginning of December where we had... Yeah, I know you feel better now. I was a problem, apparently. 
Don't say that, Tay. Don't feel like that. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, come on, now. Come on, now boo. Come on. Come on, boo. Come on, boo. I need you to be a little bit more stronger than that. Put your gangsta on. Put your gangsta wig on. You probably should. She should if she would have had a bob on doing this video, it would have been that, I mean, I care, but I don't give a fuck type bobs. Oh, but no. For real. Come on, boo. Maturity. I need you to be mature. I know it ain't easy. But you can't do a part two. It ain't gonna be no part two. I need you to mean what you say and say what you mean in this video. Because there ain't gonna be no back and forth. It better not be no back and forth. I'm glad you feel better. I'm glad. Like, I'm happy for you. On that note, y'all, I'm just gonna end the video right here because... Sheesh. Yeah. That's it. I'm glad she found herself. I'm glad that I figured it out. Like, I'm glad that she's in a better space. I'm glad. I'm very happy for her. I wish her nothing but the best. I still have a lot of love for that girl. Of My course. love never changed. We just, you know, we grew apart. That's it. That's it. I understand. Like, for real, for real. I've been happy. Like, I've honestly been happy. Like, I've been finding myself. Well, I found myself beginning of 2020. I found myself. And... The person that I'm becoming, I'm very, I'm very happy with it. As you like, should for be. Real, for real. I'm very happy. Like, I'm gonna cry because y'all just don't understand. I came up. I came a long way. Like, okay. I came a long way. Jazz taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. Business wise, I really do appreciate that. I taught her a lot, spiritual wise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope she take what I and taught can't, her. And of course, can't nobody take that away. And that's not going to go away. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's trying to take that away from, from them. So, it's okay to be emotional. It's okay to cry. But I just feel like right now she's... Tay hasn't fully healed. You know what I'm saying? You can be happy and still not fully healed. It's possible. And like... But like really, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like honestly, that's still like I still look at her like this. But I respect that we need space apart. Honestly, I really do. Like I understand that. Like I'm an Aquarius. I'm very understanding. I understand. Like I really do. Understand you're trying to work on your brand. You I understand that. I understand. And that's what she didn't understand where I understood. Like, I get where you're coming from. And it wasn't going to hurt my feelings. Like, I've always found a way by myself. I always found a way. She's an Aquarius. Like, I'm that type of person. If I see something wrong, I'm going to find a way for myself. I'm going to, I know how to maneuver, y'all. I know how. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, that's the end of this video. I'm really not going to do an outro to it. So, yeah. Bye. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay positive. And remain yourself. Remember that. Remain yourself. Don't change for nobody. 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 Love yourself first. That's all I gotta say. Love yourself first. Don't get lost in this crazy world. Don't get lost. No. Stay true to your soul. Stay true to your spirit. Please. Don't get caught up with all this other stuff. Don't let it change you. Okay. That's all I want to say. Bye. Damn. She said, she said that. You know, both of them had some really good responses. It's so relatable. A lot of people can relate to this. And I feel like that's kind of like where I find my joy and happiness when I do YouTube and when I do my videos. Um, I can look back and I could just see how much I've grown I could I I think I said this before but I can look back at old videos and know exactly where I was at mentally I know when I had my bad days I know when I had my good days I know when I had my days where I ain't eating I know when I had my days when I ain't sleep I know I had my days where I wasn't home and I know where I'm I fucking know and I just I enjoy doing YouTube because this is not to say that I'm not real, but this is where I can be myself and don't give a fuck when nobody got to say thank none of that shit at all. You know what I'm saying? Like some days, yeah, Jay, you got, you got a potty mouth. Some days, okay, Jay, you you being goofy. Some other days, I don't got much to say. It ain't a lot of days like that, but I'm just saying. Some days, it just be a day. 
okay? Some days be real productive, some days don't be productive at all. But I just find joy in doing YouTube because it's always somebody out there that can relate to what you're going through, no matter what you're going through. They can relate to when you when you're happy, they can relate to you when you're sad. They look upon you to make them happy when they're not happy because you are happy. Or they look upon you, you know what I'm saying, to make them feel better about their bad day because you are also having a bad day. Like, I can be, like I said, don't get it twisted because I'm always me, I'm always real, I'm always myself. But it's just me, baby. I don't go out clout chasing, looking for collabs, trying to collab with the wrong collabers, going backwards, trying to collab with shit that don't make no fucking sense. I literally do what I do and what I want to do, how I want to do it. And that's why I'm Jay. And there's always a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. And if you don't know what my slogan means, what my brand means, that's exactly what it means. And when, when it came to me, it came to me at a point in time where it was like, yo, I'm going to have a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period, no matter what. When I say it's Jay vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period, I don't give a fuck what's going on. I don't give a fuck, okay? I'm going to be caring. I care, but I'm going to be giving a fuck. Respectfully. And on that note, I'm going to just end this video because, jeez, it's a, lot, it's a lot to edit today. I'm excited about these edits. You know, new content, new videos. Um, yeah, I will say after I put these videos out, I'm actually going to react to not, not all the videos I wanted to react of them. But I am going to react to um, a few videos of them. I think... Uh, Diamond Life, I don't know the girl YouTube channel name. It's two videos of her creeping and digging and searching. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what the video about, but I want to react to it. So it's two videos of, on her channel that I want to react to. It's probably most likely going to be on J Vibes reaction. So please make sure you are subscribed. And then I want to, you know, just do a recap of, you know, the good moments that they two had together. And that, you guys, will be on this channel where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on, bit period. Don't get it twisted. There's a whole lot of great vibes going on, bit period, wherever the fuck I'm at. You can really learn a lot by watching other people. You can really learn a lot, learn a lot of lessons by watching other people go through their own lessons and mistakes. And if you didn't get nothing from these videos, if you ain't getting nothing from my breakup, they breakup, Diamond and Chrissy breakup, Ken and Diero scandals, Whatever they had going on, queen breakup, anybody that you watch, their breakups, their ups, their downs. Now, I think the number one thing that you need to uh, get from all of that is to be true to yourself. Be true to yourself and love yourself and put yourself first and don't change for nobody, okay? And don't move too fast, okay? And uh, speak your mind and feel how you feel. It's only you, baby. A real one gonna respect how you feel when it's good and when it's bad, when it's pretty and when it's ugly. And before I keep preaching, call me First Lady J because I am First Lady Moves. Oh, but nah. I'm over here. I'm signing out to the next video. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. It. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you. Baby girl, <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on, and I'm out this bitch. She buying seven rings like I'm Ariana. Yeah,